Hi there, my name is Maya Tate and I am the mayor of the District of Souk and I'm very pleased to share with you the book called Stregi Nona and the original tale was written and illustrated by Tommy DePaolo. It was published by Simon & Schuster Books for Young Readers in New York, London, Toronto, Sydney, and New Delhi. And it was first published in 1975. The dedication is for Franny and Fluffy. Let's begin. In a town in Calibria a long time ago, there lived an old lady everyone called Strega Nona, which meant Grandma Witch. Although all the people in town talked about her in whispers, they all went to see her if they had troubles. Even the priest and the sisters of the convent went because Strega Nona did have a magic touch. She could cure a headache with oil and water and a hairpin. She made special potions for girls who wanted husbands. And she was very good at getting rid of warts. But Strega Nona was getting old, and she needed somebody to help her keep her little house and garden. So she put up a sign in the town square. And Big Anthony, who didn't pay attention, went to see her. Anthony, said Strega Nona, you must sweep the house and wash the dishes. You must weed the garden and pick the vegetables. You must feed the goat and milk her, and you must fetch the water. For this, I will give you three coins and a place to sleep and food to eat. Oh, Grazi, said Big Anthony. The one thing you must never do, said Strega Nona, is touch the pasta pot. It is very valuable, and I don't let anyone touch it. Oh, see, yes, said Big Anthony. And so the days went by. But Big Anthony did his work, and Strega Nona met with the people who came to see her for headaches and husbands and warts. Big Anthony had a nice bed to sleep in next to the goat shed, and he had food to eat. One evening, when Big Anthony was milking the goat, he heard Strega Nona singing. Peeking in the window, he saw Strega Nona standing over the pasta pot. She sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot. Boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup. Boil enough pasta to fill me up. And the pasta pot bubbled and boiled and was suddenly filled with steaming hot pasta. Then Strega Nona said, Enough, enough, pasta pot. I have my pasta, nice and hot. So simmer down my pot of clay until I'm hungry another day. How wonderful, said Big Anthony. That's a magic pot for sure. And Strega Nona called Big Anthony in for supper, but too big, but too bad for Big Anthony because he didn't get to see Strega Nona blow three kisses to the magic pasta pot. One, two. And this is what happened. The next day, when Big Anthony went to the town square to fetch the water, he told everyone about the pasta pot. And naturally, everyone laughed at him because it sounded so silly. A pot that cooked all by itself? You better go and confess to the priest, Big Anthony, they said. Such a lie. And Big Anthony was angry, and that wasn't a very good thing to be. I'll show them, he said to himself. Someday I will get the pasta pox and make it pasta pot and make it cook, and then they'll be sorry.
that day came sooner than even big anthony would have thought because two days later Straganona said to big anthony anthony i must go over to the mountain to the next town to see my friend strega amelia sweep the house and weed the garden feed the goat and milk her for your lunch and then there is bread and cheese in the cupboard and remember don't touch the pasta pot oh yes yes Straganona said big anthony but inside he was thinking my chance has come As soon as Straganona was out of sight, Big Anthony went inside, pulled the pasta pot off the shelf, and put it on the floor. Now, let's see if I can remember the words, said Big Anthony. And he sang, Bubble, bubble, pasta pot, boil me some pasta, nice and hot. I'm hungry and it's time to sup, boil enough to fill me up. And sure enough, the pasta, the pot bubbled and boiled and began to fill up with pasta. Aha, said Big Anthony, and he ran to the town square, jumped on the fountain and shouted, Everyone get forks and plates and platters and bowls, pasta for all at Straganona's house. Big Anthony has made the magic pasta pot work. Of course, everyone laughed, but ran home to get forks and plates and platters and bowls. And sure enough, when they got to Straganona's, the pasta pot was so full, it was beginning to overflow. Big Anthony was a hero. He scooped out pasta and filled the plates and platters and bowls. There was more than enough for all the townspeople, including the priest and sisters from the convent. And some people came back for two and three helpings, but the pot was never empty. When they all had had their fill, Big Anthony sang, enough enough my pasta pot i have my pasta nice and hot so simmer down my pot of clay until i'm hungry another day but alas he did not blow the three kisses he went outside and to the applause of the crowd big anthony took a bow he was so busy listening to compliments from everyone he didn't know that the pasta pot was bubbling and boiling until a sister from the convent said, Oh, Big Anthony, look! And pasta was pouring out of the pot all over the floor as Straganona's and was coming out the door. Oh my. Big Anthony rushed in and shouted the magic words again, but the pot kept boiling. He took the pot off the floor, but pasta kept pouring from it. Big Anthony grabbed a cover and put it on the pot and sat on it. But the pasta raised the cover and Big Anthony as well and spilled on the floor of Straganona's house. Oh dear. We must protect our town from the pasta, shouted the mayor. Get mattresses, tables, doors, anything to make a barricade. But even that didn't work. The pot kept bubbling and the pasta kept humming. We are lost, said the people, and the priest and the sisters of the convent began praying. The pasta will cover our town, they cried. And it certainly would have had Strega Nona not come down the road home from her visit. She didn't have to look twice to know what had happened. She sang the magic song and blew the three crisp kisses, and with a sputter, the pot stopped boiling and the pasta came to a halt. Three kisses. One, two, three. Oh, Grazi, thank you, thank you, Straganona, the people cried. And then they turned on Big Anthony. String him up, the men of the town said.
Now wait, said Streganona, the punishment must fit the crime. And she took a fork from a lady standing nearby and held it out to Big Anthony. All right, Anthony, you wanted pasta from my magic pasta pot? Streganona said, and I want to sleep in my little bed tonight. So start eating. And he did. Poor big Anthony. Thank you very much for being with me today. Take good care.